Hi guys, welcome back to High Yield Interday Trading. So before I start with today's topic, I would like to thank you all for making me reach the 1000 mark on YouTube in terms of the number of subscribers. I'm really, really delighted to see you all on board. Really guys, thank you all so very much. All right, so uh, to start with, uh, today I'm gonna tell you guys something that can be checked before the market opens, that is at the pre-market hours, and uh, using this, you can list out some stocks that you can have in your radar, and as soon as the market is live, you can get in, make some quick money, and if you uh, if your earning for the day is as per your satisfaction, then you can just chill or uh, just watch the market movements for the rest of the day. All right. Now, the movement that I'm talking about can happen in any direction. Maybe uh, it may go up, uh, it may come down. That is something which we need to decide uh, based on the strategies that we have uh, uh, that we have discussed earlier. All right, so uh, that's what I do guys. If the direction of the stock is in my favor, I make some quick money and then I concentrate on giving calls in my Discord channel. Okay, now before I start with, I have a disclaimer. Newbies, please refrain from following this strategy because you need to be super speedy in checking the various parameters, then getting into the trade, then locking up uh, your profits and then coming out of the trade. Okay, note that this strategy holds good for a couple of seconds to a couple of minutes. So I sincerely request the newbies not to do this. I mean, one fine day you will do it or you can do it. But as of now, just watch and learn. All right. I don't want you people to lose money. Preserve your capital. This should be your mantra as of now. All right. So having that said, let me take you to uh, the pre-market uh, uh, pre-open market website on NSE India all right that is where uh, we will have all the action happening all right so this is the page now you need to check this page uh, anytime between 908 a.m. to 914 a.m. okay so what exactly you need to do here is once you launch this page uh, click on the drop down uh, click on FNO stocks there are two columns uh, which we need to concentrate on all right one is the value and the second one is the market capital okay now firstly coming on to the value column click on it twice so that it lists out the uh, lists out the value from increasing to decreasing order okay now what we need to make sure here in this column is you need to make sure uh, that the value traded for that particular morning should be more than 70 to 75 lakhs. Now, the reason for this is anything that is above this value is treated to be a decent or huge value. Okay. Now, once this is done, have a look on the market capital column. Okay. That is in crores. Okay. Here, you need to make sure that the market capital should be less than or equals to 10,000 crores. Okay. Now, the reason for this is the higher market cap stocks move lower. Okay. And their price action is much more choppier than the lower cap stocks. Okay. On lower time frames. I mean, since we are into intraday trading, so we have to deal with lower time frames like 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, like that. Okay. Now, let me give you an example. If I add 100 rupees to a 100 rupees item, I double the price, right? But if I add 100 rupees to a 1000 rupees item, I only increase its price by 1%. Okay, so this is the whole funda behind it. So that is the reason uh, the lower cap stocks move more. Okay, hope that's clear. Okay, now please note that when I say ten thousand crores for the uh, uh, for the um, uh, capital column, okay, uh, that is an ideal number that I'm giving you. Plus or minus something is fine. So, for example, here Tata Steel is showing the market capital of uh, thirty thousand crores. Okay, so it should be fine. But if you look at the value column, the ideal number that I gave you is 70 to 75 lakhs, right? But here it's showing up as 1,207 lakhs. Okay, so seeing this, uh, it should ring a bell that something is going to happen in this stock today. So, and we have to be ready with our trading terminals in order to trade this stock. 
okay so here I'm showing you the example of Tata Steel let me take you to the trading terminal uh, so that it will be more clear ex uh, as to what exactly happened over there okay this is zero the kite so this uh, this is what happened to Tata Steel uh, today morning okay it's all green since the starting of the day okay let me let me just change it to 15 minutes it will be more beautiful okay see this all right so uh, this is what happens guys and uh, this is this is the exact thing uh, I'm talking about here okay if you see uh, that the direction is hitting your expectation then stay back and trail your stop loss okay or else um, book your profit and just come out okay now one more important thing uh, uh, that I want to show here is this is the 15 minutes chart uh, that you're seeing okay and uh, we see everything green okay what if I switch to a five minutes chart okay let me switch it to a five minutes chart and let me adjust here all right so this is the five minutes chart so if you see the first candle that I see here is red okay so if it's a newbie they might think that this is gonna go down and if they shot their position then obviously they are gonna face the loss okay so what I want to tell here is once uh, uh, once you shortlist the stocks and when the market is live please don't enter the trade blindly you always and when I say always I mean always need to check the parameters need to check the parameters and have them verified like PSR the super trend the EMA the SMA the MACD the R RSI etc uh, etc et whatever you follow okay just make sure that everything are in place everything meet each other and then you enter the trade okay here if I see in five minutes chart I have the five uh, uh, EMA crossing the 12 EMA I have the PSRs lying below the candlesticks I have the MACD line crossing I have the RSI crossing the 60 mark I uh, just for your information I use uh, 40 and 60 are uh, as the RSI marks okay so everything is meeting here Similarly, if I go to the 15 minutes uh, uh, candlesticks, here also everything is meeting. 5 EMA is crossing 12 EMA. PSRs are under the candlesticks. I have uh, the MSCD uh, crossing exactly at the first candle. I have uh, the RSI going above 60 exactly at the first candle. Okay, so this is something which needs to be taken care of before you enter the trades okay yeah so this is what I wanted to share with you guys uh, as always I would uh, recommend you all to backtest this first and then try it on the live market uh, yep yeah. so uh, that's what I have uh, for today guys I uh, would request you all to like subscribe and stay tuned for my next video you all have a good day see ya bye bye